Okay, welcome everybody to our um, series of essential oil and doTERRA lessons and Zoom calls. So to, today I'm excited to introduce my good friend, Erica Butler. She's my upline in doTERRA, but before that we've been friends starting, I think, our, our freshman year in high school. So um, many, many years ago. We've known each other for a long time. Um, we've spent many nights together as young girls and um, done lots of fun things together. So when she introduced me to doTERRA, of course, I listened because I trust and love her. And I've always felt that she approaches things with a lot of integrity and does a lot of research and makes sure that what she gets involved in is um, of the utmost quality. So just my little story of how I was introduced is, uh, again, my name is Kara Blattman. You all know me. I'm a platinum director in doTERRA. I'm the founder of doTERRA in Israel and currently living in New Mexico and um, looking to build the doTERRA community here um, and continue to support my Israel community and everybody around the world. So today's call is a little bit different. It's not product training. It's more about our journey with doTERRA, our relationship with the product. And sorry, I have kids in the background. <laughs> um, our relationship with the products and then how that expands and takes us into our journey with the business model and the relationships that that forms with us with the many people that we develop into our community. And so people are on the call because they're interested, obviously they love the products and um, they have an interest in the, in the business model and how to grow this into uh, a thriving community and that they're at the head of and the leading, leading of and the leaders of. So I wanted to share Erica today as my co-presenter because for some of you that are just getting on the call, I'll repeat myself that she is my our upline everybody on this call she's our upline so she's above us in the network marketing model she's a diamond leader in doTERRA um, the, the majority of her community was here in new mexico and in the united states and then she moved to spain my Lorca, specifically with her partner rick who is also our 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 diamond leader as he has retired from his day-to-day -day job of, of um, a professor at the, the university here and now is leading their doTERRA team together and um, again you, my story was I was introduced to doTERRA from Erica she did facials she was an esthetician and introduced the oils to me on my face it was my first experience frankincense on my face I fell in love immediately with esthetician work. First of all, I thought it was better than a massage. A massage on your face with frankincense was amazing. And I fell in love with frankincense and felt like I don't want to live without that oil. I want that in my life for the rest of my life. And then she took me into the journey of the oils for my children. And for the longest time, I kind of, I wasn't, it wasn't the right timing for me in the business, but I knew the business model from previous um, things that I had done. So I did like the business model. So I, I joined as a wellness advocate, had different language at that time, because it's going on about 10 years, I think. Um, and then eventually, with the timing was right for me to work with her with the business and then i moved to israel and became the founder of doTERRA in israel who knew that these were the the things that were going to happen so i want to introduce erica butler and rick hendren um, they are our diamond leader uplines she is quite inspiring to me We've always believed for years and years and years that network marketing is a brilliant business model that can really create a, a, a great income, a great retirement, and a way to really live life according to your plan and not the plan of the kind of um, mainstream society. So welcome, Erica. 
to the call. Um, and I'll mute myself and you can take over. So I, and you, just to remind you like the um, what's up highlights or, or what I kind of highlighted people about this talk was gonna be that how to stay motivated, how to stay, what are some consistent steps to, to, to have in our life to stay, um, keep this business model going, this community going for us and you know, working with our strengths and just your story with that. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on. I'm super excited to be with you guys tonight. And um, I am just really grateful that you're all here, that you decided to come and to be with us this evening. And I'll do my best to just share my story and to give you a few pointers and uh, some of the things that I've discovered along the way that have really helped me stay motivated. Um, I joined doTERRA back in 2008, six months after the company started. And as Kara mentioned, I was a practicing esthetician at the time. I'd been licensed for a number of years and had opened my own practice in Albuquerque. And that was just launched. I had just started to get that off the ground. And so um, doTERRA came into my life at a really interesting and pivotal time. I was looking for an essential oil company to work with, to have for my clientele. And uh, I was there with Dr. Hill and Lil Shepard. Some of you have met Lil Shepard before. She had come to Albuquerque and was visiting a good friend of theirs, which was Peggy Langenwalter, who introduced me to the oils and has become a dear, dear friend over the years. And I think there were 16 of us in the room that night, and we were sitting at a restaurant called The Flying Star in Corrales. And as these essential oils started being passed around the room, I was getting more and more excited. And it was uh, an experience that maybe you've had something similar to this before in your life, where all of a sudden it's like every cell in your body is saying yes to something. It is the most exciting moment. And I couldn't really describe it much more than that. It was just the most amazing sensation of these oils being passed around the room and this joy becoming larger and larger and larger as I became completely um, in love with the products that I was experiencing. So I went home from that and the next day enrolled and that was July 31st, 2008. So I've been with the company now for over 12 years, 12 years and four months. And um, it has just been the most joyful journey ever. It's been absolutely amazing. And I have had, you know, moments as we all do with anything we put a lot of energy and effort into and our dreams and our hopes and our aspirations that are connected to um, have had some moments of ups and downs and ebbs and flows as we move along. Um, but I have to say that it was the most amazing thing that I think I've ever chosen to, to be a part of. And I still feel that way 12 years later. So that's really good news. Um, it's the longest thing I've ever done in my life, actually. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited about that commitment um, and the journey where it's taken me. So, um, so I wanted to, to share with you a little bit about when we started with doTERRA back in the beginning, there were absolutely zero tools. We had um, just about um, right around 10 essential oils and a few different blends. And so we had a very limited toolbox, so to speak, of oils, but every oil that we had was exquisite, was so beautiful. And the materials to help support people in terms of understanding the business model or how to build the business, those things didn't exist at that time. And so we were looking outside to the industry for teachers. Um, personal development industry, uh, motivational speakers, and people that had been successful in developing network marketing companies, um, other network marketing companies. So we were really having to kind of feel our way through and navigate the history of how to build a network marketing business with a product that we absolutely adored and loved. And so we tried a lot of things. We got to really put ourselves out there and experience um, a lot of different philosophies in terms of how to, to really build this business well and what were the fundamental activities that we could see that if those things were duplicated over and over, over time really allowed us to grow. 
And it was through the course of that work that other doTERRA leaders really developed this amazing system that we have in place today. So the good news for everybody that's here on this call today is that everything that you need is in place today to take this journey with doTERRA as far as you want to go with it. So whatever your own personal dreams, aspirations, desires of what this means to you, what you want to create with this company, all of that work, all of that energy, all of that effort um, that has been gone before has laid this, this pipeline that's in place now for people to accomplish their goals. So I kind of wanted to just begin with that because you're all so blessed to be exactly where you are today because the tools are there. And I wanted to just remind you, if you go to doTERRA.com, I know many of you are familiar with um, the doTERRA.com website. And when you log in to the back office, there is a place where the resources are and the empowered success section of our back office and the empowered you section are two areas that I want to just briefly highlight tonight because it's really about um, learning the fundamental action steps that we call the pipes which I'm sure you're familiar with and the pipes in just review are about preparing inviting, presenting, enrolling, and supporting. And it's the five areas that we work with um, continuously as long as you're a part of the journey of building the business of doTERRA. So as you move along in your journey through the different ranks of achievement with the company, those pipes are preparing, um, in inviting, presenting, enrolling, and supporting. Erica, sorry, you got muted accidentally. Can you unmute yourself? I muted you accidentally, sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, not sure where I left off, but basically, <laughs> As you develop in your journey going forward, the pipes are the things that you're going to continue to do. And those are the fundamentals of our business. Those are the things that we're going to work on developing and getting better at as we embark and continuing to stay with this process going forward. Okay. So, um, and in the beginning, especially, you're really focusing on what we call the IPES or the the inviting, the presenting, and the enrolling. These, these, um, these specific pipes are the things that really allow your business to grow. So if you hold up your hand and you put a lot of energy and effort into preparing, preparing is fabulous and it's necessary, it's essential, but it will only get you so far, right? We need all of the things to be in place for us to, um, to move forward in the business. So I invite you to review your launch guide um, and look at the new business guide that was just developed in 2020. I looked over it today. It is absolutely fabulous. So in terms of the action steps that are necessary to grow, I don't want to focus too much on that tonight because that's all there for you. And it would be worth spending a good amount of time just reviewing where you are with those actions and rating yourself to see how comfortable are you in those different areas and maybe make a plan uh, of how you would like to uh, progress in those areas and and look at measuring how you're advancing and progressing with those specific action steps. So Erica, remind us, say again, repeat again, what, where do we, um, where do people evaluate themselves? What's that? So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go to step four in your empowered success resource section in the back office. 
So you'll log in to your doTERRA account in the back office and you look under the resource section and you'll see business resources. And as you see those business resources, you'll see where it has the launch guide. And the launch guide is um, an amazing guide to really help people create goals and to kind of know what those pipes are to focus on as they're looking at building. And um, it also has the other guides, the, the rank guides. And as you move up in the company, as you progress and you achieve the different ranks that you're looking to achieve, those guides are there for you to talk to you about what your focuses and your priorities would be for that specific rank, okay? So for example, the train rank is there for people who are moving beyond elite into premieres and silvers. And then you move beyond into um, going for gold and pursuing platinum and diamond. There are ranks guides that are there for each each one of those that have very specific uh, pipes that are associated for that rank okay so something that's really powerful for us to be working with on a monthly basis um, just kind of by show of nods how many of you are familiar with the launch guide karen a few of you Okay, so this is going to be so amazing for you to go there and to take a look at the, um, the launch guide. And um, maybe we could even do a session in the future on the new business build guide um, because it is just exquisite. And it's um, one that they recommend going through before moving into uh, the train guide. So if you're an elite or you've hit elite and you want to go up to Premier and beyond, this would be a really good place to kind of review and to start, okay? And that's and now the launch guide. Do, the launch the guide and the business, uh, business guide. It's a brand okay. new guide that just came out in 2020 and it's amazing, absolutely okay. amazing. Um, so beyond those specific action steps, something that I wanted to talk a little bit about tonight without going in too great a detail on, just for time's sake, is a couple of years ago at the doTERRA leadership conferences and the convention, we started hearing about our strengths, the Gallup Strength Finder assessment. Because as the company was growing, we had um, these amazing people come into doTERRA um, that were using tools um, to really accelerate their business and we saw people move through ranks very quickly and they had very broad influence and they were growing their businesses very fast and the amount of information and technology that became available um, was something that was incredibly helpful but also created a dynamic where some people felt like they were falling behind or that they didn't have the skill sets necessary to be successful in doTERRA to achieve the rank of diamond or whatever their dreams were with the company. And so I want to read a quote to you really quickly. Um, this became a theme at the leadership conferences and at the convention. Emily Wright, who is one of the owners of the company, person that we all love dearly, she's an amazing leader and a friend. Um, and just such a beautiful soul. She really started seeing that people were comparing themselves to one another and you know, sometimes feeling that they were less than able to or qualified to achieve what they wanted to achieve in doTERRA. So she says to people, you have characteristics and gifts that make you unique. It is up to you to turn those characteristics into strengths. Stop comparing yourself to others. Your strengths were to you for a purpose. When you embrace your authentic self, your potential is limitless. Emily Wright. So the company really started focusing on us um, as individuals. And they brought in the Gallup Strength Finders to talk to us about this concept of working from our core strengths. Um, to be able to achieve our goals. So even though we have these action 
steps that have been laid out, that have been time proven and tested to work if we will work them. We also recognize that that's only part of the equation. Yes, there are action steps that have to be uh, taken, embraced, developed. You'll get better with as you practice them. But then there's also this piece of it that is entirely unique to you. And that's what makes this so exciting and so amazing is that we don't have to be anybody else but our authentic self. And we can't be and we shouldn't be. We can only show up and be our best self. So as you identify your strengths, which you can take the strength finders test by, by nod of head, so I can see how many of you have taken in the strength finders test on your doTERRA back office site so you know what your core strengths are no nope. okay okay so this is another <laughs> fantastic place for us to focus in the next coming weeks because i promise you not only will this bring a whole nother level of joy to you and your business as you discover your strengths and you work from them and you apply them to what it is that you're doing in your actions but it gives you the baseline of how you can work with your team. You can mentor your team and you can work with your team in a way that is so much more empowered when you understand what your team members' strengths are. It gives you the basis and the grounds to be able to connect with them and recognizing that we all have different strengths and that's what makes us unique in this journey. And we can work together and with that diversity we all achieve more more together through that diversity so um i will tell you where you can go so if you are again logged into the back office it's in the empowered you section that you can take the strength finders test and doTERRA has connected this directly to the site and through taking the test with doTERRA, you will receive your top five strengths. And um, it's really fascinating how knowing what those things are um, really support you. So just to give you kind of a brief overview, I won't go into full-on strengths training because that we don't have time for that tonight. I'm going to pause you for just a second. Do you, is your back office still U.S. or Europe? So my back office is U.S., but you, I believe, all of our global community is able to have access to it if you go to doTERRA.com forward slash U.S. forward slash E-N for English forward slash empowered you, I believe. And Kara, if they're not able for some reason to pull that up, you can grab that link and send it out to them in an email. And I believe they should be able to access it so that they can take the test for strength finders. Okay, it's doTERRA.com. I'm gonna write it in the message right now. doTERRA.com forward slash. US. US forward slash. EN. E-N, English, mm -hmm. forward slash, let me see, um, for empowered success, it's empowered dash success. Okay. And then the, I, and I know the- that comes up, Kara, for you. Okay. Um, so I have a U.S. site too. So maybe Karen or um, one of my European- um, to pull it up can pull it up for that. We want empowered. I know empowered success, I think is available through, um, through the EU office, but the, the strength finder. It's under the empowered you resource. It's, it's that, written that, uh, oops, look like something went wrong and there is an error. Okay. Oh. What we can do is we can, um, search that Kara and see if we can grab that link and okay. send it to them directly if that will allow them to pull it up. We can take a look at that. And if not, then you can all go to Gallup Strength Finders and I'll get that link where you can take the test. 
and knowing your strengths, what they are, then we can, we can move forward with this. But doTERRA has done an absolutely beautiful job of taking all the 34 different strengths that they've identified and putting them available in this section where they talk about it as it references doTERRA specific action. So it's really a beautiful thing to be able to have. Um, and we have moved as a company, as a model for mentorship and for supporting our team members, really understanding that um, working from our strengths is a way to really um, grow in a way that's joyful. So if we focus on the things that we do well, there's an entirely different quality to the work that we do than we, when we try to spend our time and energy developing strengths that maybe are not our best suit. And they compare it to, you know, writing with the opposite hand, that's your natural dominant hand. You can do it, but you're probably not going to do as well as when you write with your dominant hand because you're stronger there. That's a natural strength for you. So just to give you an example of the different strengths that are, there are different themes that are identified. There are executing strengths, influencing strengths, relationship building strengths, and strategic thinking strengths. So um, out of those different categories, people will have a combination of those 34. If you take the full strength finders test, all 34 of those strengths will show up and you'll be rated in those. Um, but your top five are the ones that we would focus on and working from. So to give you an example, um, I think this is really fascinating information, but that the odds of someone having your same top five strengths in the same order that you have them is one in 33 million 400,000 people. Wow. wow. Isn't wow. that amazing? Yeah. So what that means, when doTERRA had all the presidential diamonds and blue diamonds take the strengths, they thought that what they might find are some consistencies and that certain strengths would show up more dominant within that population. And that was not the truth at all. Right. At so all. I think I found it. So Erica. I could present every presidential diamond is different. Ah. Right. So I could present Great. my screen really quick to just show everybody where to go. Because it doesn't matter if it's if you have a, a EU account or a US account, you can all access it. So I'm gonna just share the screen just so you guys know. And this will be your homework for after the call. Um, yeah, take the strength finders. It's the best thing you can do for you, yourself and the business yeah. and for your team. And also just for anything that you're doing in life. Everything. So do, yeah, so doTERRA.com, you don't have to go through your account. Um, go to doTERRA.com, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then there's the empowered success under business resources, um, empowered success. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that, there's the empowered you. You, Tell me if, excellent. And then I'm assuming it's the skip the assessment. Yes, you can get yeah. the assessment. And once you have it, you'll see where it says how to use your strengths. And here they'll go through and talk about each four strengths and, um, and how you can use them to grow your business, to they basically say how you do these things is how you do everything in your life so it's mm -hmm. true it's not just about how you do doTERRA and how you show up for doTERRA it's how you do everything so you'll learn a lot about yourself which is so cool yeah when you do this it's really amazing little bit of information that you get so um i just think that this is really an important point because um there are as many ways to reach whatever goals you set for yourself, um, as many ways to reach diamond, presidential diamond, and beyond, um, you're gonna do it in your own unique way that you'll be able to discover and develop 
with your strengths while you are working on the action steps that have been time tested and proven. Uh, the things we need to do in order to grow the business of doTERRA. And those will always come back to those rank guides um, and the pipes, and the pipes that are specific to any given rank that you're working towards achieving, okay? So um, just wanted to leave you with that uh, awareness is that I think that moving forward, working from your strengths is going to be the most amazing thing that you can do to keep your motivation high and to achieve the goals that you have set for yourself in this business. And I'll leave it at that and then we can, I guess, open it up for questions and comments or whatever yeah. else you guys would like to discuss tonight. So I, um, let me pin my video. So, so I want to ask you, Erica, um, so I, I believe that everybody on this call, I hope you like feel motivated to go and take that strength finder test. I haven't done it myself, so I'm for sure going to do it um, because we can all use better understanding of ourselves and our strengths. And I, I totally agree with Erica. If you're moving and moving and serving from your strengths, you're not going to lose motivation. It's just this natural flow of like, this is what I like to do. This is what I'm good at. This is what I natu how I naturally work. And so you're going to continue to work that way. And then you use those strengths for those, the, those activities that Erica talked about, the pipes of inviting and um, presenting and enrolling and supporting your, the new, new members that come into your community. And so Taking it back to that first foundational step is why are you doing doTERRA, right? Like, why are you here? It's your relationship with the products. Are you motivated to share that with other people? Um, and then is that because you want to just benefit people with the products, which is perfectly okay, or also because you want to build an income with this business model? And I think it's really important to be aware of those two things like and it could change over time but when you get um, have an awareness of your relationship with that statement do you want to build uh, income with doTERRA and how does that feel for you and are you sharing because you want to benefit people for with the oils and the products or you want to make an income with doTERRA and and trying to find how you can put those two together because it really is important that they go together like i share doTERRA because i want people to benefit from the products as i do and my family does and I want to make an income from doTERRA to benefit my family and help my community who wants to make an income also. Um, and getting in touch, and Erica, you can speak to this. I'll develop a, a question soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I think people having awareness around like, it feels easy to say, I want to share doTERRA with people because I want them to benefit from the products like I do. It feels like this very selfless act. Like I'm sharing doTERRA with you because it's amazing and I want you to benefit like I do. But then when you get into, I'm also sharing doTERRA with you because it's my business and I make income from it. That's where people get hangups, you know, still to this day, we're there. We're, this is one of the main, one of the major things that I think people are working with is, and, and speaking to that, like it's, it's okay to share doTERRA because you're also, this is your business and you also are going to get paid from it and you're developing a, a, a the Hebrew word is parnasa, an income from it. So can you speak to that, Erica? Like, um, is that an issue? Does that still come up for you or it comes up for people in your downline? And how do you speak to that? Yes. <laughs> do you know what I asked? Do you even know yeah, what I yeah. asked? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
it still comes up. It still, it still comes up. And um, it comes up for people on my team. It comes up for, I would say, for, for people in doTERRA across the board um, to address it. And yet, um, you know, we know that this business model works. We know that it's a very generous way of earning an income in a way that's very um, responsible and gives back so much. And so I think that even how we approach the business, it's going to come, your strengths are going to play out in this as well. Your strengths, mm -hmm. your top strengths, when you take this test and you see the themes that are coming up in your, um, your wheelhouse, you're going to be able to see how you can approach the business and how you're going to approach the business. I guarantee you that there are leaders um, that are doing very well with doTERRA that have no qualms at all about approaching people about the business. Um, that's not something that they struggle with. But I know that, just to give you an example, um, to kind of bring it back home to me and what we were talking about earlier in terms of strengths, my top strengths, my top five, out of those five, four of them are relationship building. And one of them is strategic planning. So how I address everything is about building relationships. So the way I approach sharing the business with people has to be something that um, I approach with them out of a place of connection, development, having a desire to help people become a better version of themselves to achieve their dreams and, and what it is that they want to achieve in life. So I see the best in other people and I help them to try to develop that. That's one of my strengths. I'm also connectedness is one of my, it's my number two. So how I approach the business is also going to be about connecting with the individual, connecting with the higher values and purposes of doTERRA. So some of the things that motivate me about why would I choose this as a business is because it's a very conscious way to earn an income. It's a very high conscious way of, of being in the world and sharing a product um, that supports so many people from the farmers that are harvesting these plants and creating incomes for them to tending the soil, taking care of the earth, um, creating a product that's sustainable for the planet and helps us heal. So it helps us as individuals heal and it helps the planet heal. So this business model um, empowers people to earn an income doing something really good in their own life and in the lives of those that they love and care about. So if you are connected with that message in a way that it's about service, service to others, um, service to the planet, service to um, humanity, then I think it's, it's um, something that we get excited about sharing with other people. And so I think that you have to come at it from your wheelhouse of strengths. Um, there are people, I mean, obviously there are other um, strengths that are at play for individuals and they might approach it very differently, but I think they have the same fundamental beliefs at, at heart is that this is a really good company that has has your has your best interest at heart and everything that they do they do to help us become the best versions of ourselves. And so long story short, I guess what I'm trying to say is the more that you find your why around why are you involved with doTERRA on a personal level, why are you involved with doTERRA on a community level, you won't struggle with the business or presenting the business to people because I can tell you when I started doTERRA, I had just started a new business as an esthetician. I'd been an esthetician for a number of years, but I'd always worked for other people. And um, I was bankrupt. I had nothing. I had every penny to my name. I had sunk into my business. And I had loans and, um, you know, I was indebted. And this business took me from a place of being in debt to a place of prosperity. And it happened over time. It's been 12 years for me that I've been involved with the company. And I turned a diamond in 2014. 
So um, I started in 2008 and 2014. So I've been a diamond and have held that rank for six years. And it's allowed me freedom that I never would have dreamed possible had I just continued to work or had, not just, but continued to work as an esthetician. I, I love that work as well. Um, but this has given me so much more capacity to help and serve others and to live a lifestyle that um, has been wonderful, that allowed me to pick up and move to another country. So I say to you, if you're having trouble talking to people about the business, then to kind of search your heart and find out where are some of the um, the catches or the blocks for you. And Oops, we lost you, Erica. We lost, we lost Erica when she comes back on. Um, so that answers the question amazingly, Erica. And it takes me into my next top, um, next thing that I want to talk to you about, and then we'll open it up for more questions um, from other people. But um, your journey to Diamond, you said, was from 2008 to 2014. So if I'm doing the math correctly, it about, was about six years um, okay. to get you to Diamond. Yes. Um, and then you've held it for the six years. So but that journey of that six years from starting out as a wellness advocate to Diamond Leader in doTERRA, the six-year journey, and for some of us, it may be shorter for some of us it may be longer but yes. i know from my experience for me i'm already going on the longer track for that yeah. and um <laughs> but and for my israel team you know we our journey has been longer everybody yeah. on my team our journeys to elite and our journeys to premier and to, to advancing and rank has been longer and I, I so I know that across the board I'm probably speaking for everybody there is this level of frustration of nobody got involved in doTERRA because they thought it was going to get a be a, a get get rich quick I mean I know they 100% didn't believe that because I introduced them to them to it so they know that that's not part of this journey but it's a longer journey than everybody expected and some people really feel like they're doing the pipes. They're working mm -hmm. from their strengths. But I think this new strength survey is really going to kind of enlighten all of us to this oh, whole new yes. level. But I see these women on this call, and you guys know who I'm talking about. There's a lot of women on this call that have been working consistently, using the pipes, and um, and dedicating a good amount of time to their doTERRA businesses and the journey's been really slow. And so how can we speak to them about, you know, staying with it? So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say stay with it because you, it took you six years to diamond. So it wasn't like this quick journey to diamond. For me, no. it's been, it's, it was um, platinum. I think it's six years to platinum. So it's gonna be a little bit like another, please God, this year to diamond. So seven to eight years to diamond. And I have to say that I wouldn't thank, thank God I didn't quit in those, any of those years, those eight years to get me to platinum and, and then to diamond. And I know you feel the same way. Like my, my, yes. um, my input to the whole team. And then I want to hear your input about this is don't quit. Just be consistent. Keep working you'll find your community and the community that wants to stay committed and empowered by doTERRA because um, when you get to these ranks of gold, platinum, diamond, the income is very rewarding and does create, um, um, does, does reward you for all that hard work that you put in in those years prior prior to your gold platinum diamond um success and so it isn't a get it it's not a fast journey but it does happen and it is a good business model and it will create the income that you desire when you just stick with it and and stay motivated and consistent and do the 
inviting, sharing, and enrolling. Now to you, Erica. <laughs> okay. Well, that was excellent. And I think that that is um, the bottom line is uh, don't give up and find ways to support your belief. So there are, um, depending on which rank that you are currently in and where you're working and where you're looking to grow, there are specific beliefs even that they've outlined for us that are really instrumental in working on at any given time in the business. And so I would say working from your rank planner, uh, knowing exactly what actions um, are being given to you at that point, at that rank, and then looking at doing a weekly check-in with your, your team upline to be able to say, okay, if you keep track, and if you can't do a weekly check-in, if you can keep track on your own of a weekly check-in, which is in those rank planners, you'll start to see, okay, maybe there are some areas that I'm not comfortable with. There week after week after week, there are activities that I'm not doing. That's kind of a, an indicator of where you're not comfortable. And if there's ways that you can get support around whatever those actions are, whatever those activities are, um, it will be really helpful to kind of diagnose the health of your business. So if you've gone months, so without enrolling a new team member, a new customer, then that might be an area that you could go to work on um, putting some energy into, developing those skill sets. Um, contacting new individuals, are you able to meet new people through the relationships you currently have or finding creative ways to meet new people? Because contacting and inviting Presenting, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one or it's an online audience, doesn't matter the size of the group that you're presenting to, but presenting on a regular basis so that you can enroll new customers into the company. And through enrolling those customers by supporting them in what they want to create, you'll find your, your business builders. Um, so I would look to see what areas of those pipes maybe are kind of getting pushed aside or not being done on a consistent basis. Or if you are inviting, but people aren't coming, maybe you could get some, some tidbits or tips from people about how can you invite more effectively. Um, if you're inviting and people are coming, but you're not um, enrolling people as customers, maybe there are tips that would be supportive around how can you do that in a way that's more effective for you. So I think that these skill sets are things that we'll continue to work on and develop. Um, and if you're doing all of those activities and um, you're not getting enrollments, you're contacting and inviting people and you're presenting and you're not enrolling, each one of those steps is a skill set that can be developed. If you take the time to inquire from others and apply, some new things that you're learning. If you don't give up, if you stay in it long enough, you will develop. If you have a strong enough why to keep you involved. You know, if you love the products, you love the company, you love the mission, you love what they're doing, then I think it's just a matter of personal growth and development and staying in there until. <laughs> just keep going. Because the only way you're going to not achieve what you've dreamed of with this company is if you quit. That, that is the only way you can be assured that you won't get there is if you stop. So, um, and, and everybody has hiccups, you know. Um, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get where you want to go. You know, so it took me six years. It's okay. The average diamond on our build guides gets there in three years. Okay. So it took <laughs> me three you know, it took me double the amount of time I'm all right with that in my heart I always knew that I wanted to reach the rank of diamond because I wanted to that was the rank that when we started um, the company back in 2008 I think we had only 
had up to diamond. And I thought, why not go all the way to the top of the company? Of course, now you can triple that. <laughs> but, um, but I thought diamond is a good place to be. So that's where I want to go. And I thought if they can do it, I can do it. If, if anybody else can do it, why can't I do it? I have just as much passion for this company and for these products as anybody I've met. And so surely if they can do it, I can do it. And I believe that for all of you as well. I and mean, we just, we are very blessed and very gifted to have these incredible gifts of the earth that we get to spread to the world. So um, if you're in love with them the way we are, then I know that it's just a matter of time of staying with it, developing your skill sets, reaching out for help. Um, if there's a specific skill set that you need some guidance around, we have you great upline, but also 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there is amazing um, support from our builders right there on the doTERRA.com site with great tips and great advice. If you're feeling down, you can just grab one of the, um, the magazines that are all there, uh, the builder, you know, the magazines that they, they feature the different um, diamonds and presidential diamonds in. Those different yeah, the, the um, leadership. You. Leadership. Yeah, the leadership. Thank you. That, the, the word was escaping my brain at the it's moment. It's on, on my desk all the time. <laughs> well, fantastic. <laughs> How convenient. Yeah. That's wonderful. But, but it doesn't get mailed to Israel. <laughs> Israel. It but, means, so the stepchild of doTERRA. But it's all online. So it is. Um, Every so single the issue stories. is there. Every and then issue there, is there. There's a question about the strength finder. Um, so it is a purchase. I see you do purchase it for yes, nineteen ninety nine, um, yes. but they're saying it doesn't ship to Israel. So we're okay. gonna have to look into that um, and see how we can. Um, you do it online. It's an online test. Oh, okay, so sorry. yeah. So there's no shipping involved. It's just online, and so um, we can definitely inquire about that and see um, how you guys can take it. And if you can't do it through DoTerra, then you can go to Gallup Strength Finders directly. And well, that's what the the link is yeah. taking. So when you hit the link, wait, it says get the assessment. So you hit the link, get the assessment. See if, yeah, see if you can get the assessment When there. you hit the link, get the assessment, it's the top five Clifton strengths. Um, and then it's like you add it to the cart for $19.99. Yes. Um, and then uh, you go to checkout. And then you have to create create an account. Does that sound familiar? Most likely, yes. Um, and so is it, You'll are you just- do that. And are, does it, it does have to get shipped or- 1999 no? is to take the- Just no, to take the there's test. nothing that gets shipped. It's just, you take the test. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I see Israel as an option. So we can, we can find your, out. Your country and re okay. region. So, so I think it just like when you first look, when you first start to go into the assessment, it looks like it's going to be a shipping. Israel is an option as the country that you choose. So it shouldn't be a problem for everybody in Israel. If this is of interest to you, it's a good investment into your business and your future and anything that you're doing to pay that $20, which is less than a hundred shekels for, um, for Israel. Um, to take that test and let that empower you in your doTERRA journey, let that empower you in your parenting, in your relationships, and yeah. everything. In, in everything, and use it for the benefits of how it's going to benefit everything in your life, but specifically your doTERRA journey, since that's what this is all about. I'm going to stop the recording and let people, other people ask questions to Erica or myself. Thank you all for being on. Erica, everybody stay on. And I'm just saying bye to the video. Bye.